guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Leandra Jackson and today I'm going to show you my dog's very sad ah! So he's got a lot of toys and some of them I leave with him during the day. Those ones are... it's fraught. It's clawed. There's no more left of them. I'll show you as well. And then um, there's, there's like literally nothing left of the toys that he normally plays with. Anyways, um, and I'm also going to show you a few new toys that I bought and then yeah, that is the going to be the video. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Okay, so basically I'm going to show you like most of these toys. So he's got this frisbee thing, this bell ball, got one of these stuffing balls, really, really awesome. Then these two I'll talk about a bit later. This is like his favorite, two favorite toys. Then this, he's really losing an interest in this thing. He's not biting it as often anymore. Then I've got his Fubler ball. I've got a flirting pole, which I use a lot for him. And then one of his old, um, one of his first plush toys. So he started opening, biting it. So I'm not giving it to him as often as I used to. Or I don't keep give it to him and keep him alone with it. And then I've got the snuffle mat. The snuffle mat I'll just speak to you maybe about in a later video. So, and I've also got this type of chew toys. And then that's basically it. Some of these toys are really just a shame. It's so this was a rope with a ball on it. Yes, here's Cody. He's helping me. This was one of his favorite toys. He can't leave it alone like you can see. This was a tug and... W <laughs> there he takes the, the ball. Sorry about that. But anyways, he loved these toys. Okay. And... Sometimes they are expensive, sometimes they're not expensive. But just look at it. It's 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 finished. It really is finished. And this one, so we left it alone we left him alone with this once. That's why you should never leave your tug of war toys with your dog. Use them when you are with them and take them away. Because this ends up happening and they just get frustrated and then they basically bite it like you can see it's he's been yeah so these toys are done with so I need to go and get new toys for him that is similar to this or so I went to the, the queen's pet shop and yes I bought up this little cute duck this was around 129 rand 90 I think Cody's going to really love this and he's probably going to the few the next the first few minutes probably eat it up. Next I've got balls so <laughs> um this was around um around 60 rand at the Queen's pet shop. He loves he loves playing with balls and I'm sure I'll just give him one like once a day and then this long awaited for a dog's life rubber dog ball toy so this one basically has a hole on the top as you can see and then normally you just put in some treats with peanut butter and I'll show you in a later video of how I will do that Okay, so I'm outside now and I'm gonna oh, test yeah, these toys oh, out and um, let's see how he reacts to these. Okay, so Cody is here with me. Let's see what he does with the new ball. Okay, moving around and playing. Okay, so he's quite relaxed with this toy. Looks really fun. And um, just want to show 
a previous bowl that he had previously. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna see how he reacts to this squeaky toy. It looks interesting. He loves like stuffed toys. It's just I haven't bought a new one for him in a while. <laughs> Look at this baby go. Surprisingly, he's really calm with that. Hoping this toy will last for a while. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and please click subscribe and I hope that you enjoy the content in future. Thank you so much. Bye. Until next time. Bye.